Do you enjoy that feeling of a perfect two burst? Do you enjoy getting your super early and frequently? There it is. Do you hate how much damage resistance other supers have? Do you like the human hype train that is Lord Shax? Well, if you answered yes to any of those questions, this is the build for you. The key component to this build is the Celestial Nighthawk Exotic Helmet. If you throw this on, it'll change your Golden Gun from a 3 shot to a single high damage shot, and if you kill an enemy with it, they'll explode, and it'll grant you about 1 fourth to 1 30 or super energy, I don't know exactly. But what I do know is that you'll be using 5 super mods, and you know what else has 5? The amount of bullets in a burst from Vigilance Wing, which is useful because it procs the Practice Makes Perfect perk, which means for each precision shot, it's additional cooldown reduction of your super. Since Vigilance Wing is a pulse rifle, I find it best to pair with the Fusion. This main ingredient is Piano Black. It looks beautiful, seriously. It has backup plan, snapshot sights, liquid coils, and an MOA sight. In my heavy slot, I elected to use the Hammerhead Machine Gun to do exactly that. Basically, by hitting people in the head, I proc practice makes perfect with my pulse rifle or my machine gun, and if I pick up a fusion rifle kill, well then the light reactor bonus on my helmet means more super energy. To get the most out of this build, you're going to want to take a lane approach to PvP. You want to be behind your team, because if a teammate drops, you actually get health back from the V-Wing bonus. And remember, the goal here is just to hit headshots, not necessarily to get kills, so as long as you're just putting in shots, you will get the first super. Now you could use that super instantly and make an Orbalite for your team, or because we're using Celestial Nighthawk, pocket it and use it to counter other supers. The Crucible in general right now just isn't as enjoyable for me because of how abundant and obnoxious supers can be. They are so difficult to shut down with normal means that this build is kind of enjoyable for me to play because it ends what people love most. Once you do shut down that first super, you'll end up with a fourth to a third of your super energy back from that celestial kill, and then you can start playing just like you did before to get another super. And based on the pace of the match, you should be able to shut down a couple supers extra per match. Also, if we're talking the overshield from the one-eyed mask combined with the super, well, the celestial goldie does not discriminate. It'll kill pretty much anything. And on that note, that pretty much wraps up this entire build, so enjoy the rest of this gameplay. I do shut out some supers. There's a very tense moment where a Spectral Blades is chasing down my team, and because of the practice makes perfect perk, I'm able to pull out a Golden Gun at the exact clutch moment I need to shut him down from an otherwise triple or quad. Thanks so much for watching the video, and if you found this build fun, definitely comment below, and I will see you in the next one. Amazing! Don't spend all that ammo in one place. Zone B captured. You have zone advantage. Captured zone A. You have zone advantage. What can stop you if you fight together? Nothing gains the lead. Zone B lost. Zone A lost. Your enemy has a power play.
ten hunters like you, I could make the frontier safe again. Zone A captured. You have zone advantage. Zone C lost. Captured Zone C. Zone advantage is yours. Zone B captured. Only five minutes left. You're pulling ahead. Keep it that way. Zone A lost. Captured Zone A. You have advantage. Zone C lost. Zone C captured. Zone advantage is yours. Three minutes remaining. A team that fights together, stays together. You're breaking them. Victory is all I ask. Good. 